Good afternoon. My name is Doug Kellner. I'm a co-chair of the New York State Board of Elections, and I'll uh, join uh, Dwight's invitation to uh, for those of you who'd like to join us in the Cadiz room one flight up uh, to uh, continue these discussions. Uh, I have uh, submitted a lengthy uh, statement, um, uh, which I hope uh, will get published eventually. Uh, and so I'll just uh, focus on uh, two or three small points uh, that uh, I think uh, have not been discussed so far. Um, uh, that uh, Governor Cuomo in New York has been very proactive in recognizing the security threats. He made this a priority in his uh, State of the State address and also in um, the most recently enacted budget. And um, one of the uh, innovative things that uh, was added uh, to New York law um, was to uh, require disclosure of independent expenditures for internet ads. And I understand that uh, uh, Seattle, Washington has had uh, that requirement for many years, but I think New York is the first state to actually implement it. And it'll be uh, very interesting to see uh, how those disclosure requirements uh, uh, actually affect spending and the fact that we're required to put up all of these things on our own website uh, leads me to wonder what will happen. Will the State Board of Elections, in effect, become a clearinghouse for uh, political advertising in New York um, as a consequence of that requirement that we actually post all of the uh, ads? Um, a second thing that I wanted to uh, talk about is that um, uh, many of us have been advocating on the need for a voter verifiable paper audit trail for many years, and um, many states have that voter verifiable paper audit trail. The audit trail is only useful if, in fact, there are audits, so audits are a very important aspect. There are many different ways to conduct audits, uh, and um, uh, one of the uh, interesting issues that uh, has been arising recently is that there are about half a dozen states that um, have scanning systems that record ballot images and where those states allow those ballot images to be um, accessed by the public. And I think that that's a very important uh, area. Um, we just uh, had a court decision in New York uh, which will allow New Yorkers to obtain uh, copies of ballot images uh, by the Freedom of Information Law. And what that does is it gives uh, the voters the right, in effect, to do their own audit. Uh, because uh, they can go and uh, take those images and do their audits, and in the long run that increases the confidence in the uh, system. Um, uh, many citizens have access ballot images uh, in the various states where it's been allowed and have done those audits and those audits confirm the outcomes of the elections. Uh, and uh, uh, having that kind of transparency and verifiability is one important way to increase confidence in the elections. And by having that audit capability, that, of course, makes it that much more difficult to hack and uh, challenge the outcome of an election. So thank you. <laughs>